Hey guys, DJ here. Another, what I think uh, Black Ops 2 or whatever the Call of Duty next Call of Duty game is, what I think it needs. So again, as always, you can leave me uh, suggestions in the comments uh, for more videos like this. Uh, topics to talk about. Yeah. So, what the heck am I talking about today? Well, okay. You know what? This is kind of going to be taken differently from everybody, but it's definitely something I want. Um, and I think the game needs. Uh, it's a big reason Modern Warfare 3's maps fail, because they're all so compact, right? Uh, I'm sure some people like it. They like to jump in, always be in the action, make sure there's there's always somebody five feet in front of them. They want to make sure if they turn around, they got an enemy to shoot. They don't want those open maps. But you know what? That's what's ruining Call of Duty. It's way, way too narrow-minded and fast-paced. It's getting out of control. Um, you look at great maps from some of the first game, Call of Duty 4, Bog is a wonderful map. Half the map is wide open. More than half the map. You know? That's a good thing to have an open space. Um, go with Crossfire. Crossfire, the entire middle of the map is open. That's a good thing. You don't need to have winding paths everywhere. You do need to have multiple paths, like I talked about in the other video. But... They need to at least have open air. Snipers need to be usable on at least half of all, like, the maps. They need to be usable at more than medium range, not just quick scoping. Uh, and that's not the case in Modern Warfare 3. It kind of was in Black Ops, but before that, Modern Warfare 2, Call of Duty 4, and World of War had it right. They had open maps. They had big maps. Big maps are good. Stop being against them. They help the flow of the game. The game should not be like, bam, 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 bam with all this ADHD-ness. So, yeah. Comment below if you agree or disagree. Give me some ideas.